getting started with library search. In this introductory video, we will cover the following. Starting your search, using search filters, viewing search result items, saving your search results, citing search result items. You can skip ahead to a specific section by selecting one of the chapter headings. Starting your search. Library Search provides a simple, one-stop shop to search a wide range of the library's collections, including articles, books, journals, videos, and more. It's a good starting place when searching for information on most topics. Start by visiting library.humber.ca. Enter your keywords into the library search box and select Enter or the blue magnifying glass. Your search results will display in a new tab or window. In order to access search items and maximize your search experience, we recommend that you sign in with your Humber username. University of Guelph Humber students, faculty, and staff also sign in with your Humber username. Using search filters. The search filters offer an easy way to focus your search strategy and refine your search results. The filters are located in the left-hand column of the screen and are automatically applied to your search results when selected. For example, you can narrow your search to show only journal articles by selecting Journal Articles under the Item Type menu. You can further narrow your results to show only peer-reviewed journal articles available online by selecting the Peer-reviewed Journals and Available Online filters. Lastly, you may also wish to filter your results by publication date, which is particularly useful and efficient when searching for the most up-to-date and relevant literature. For example, you can limit your search to show only journal articles published within the last five years. To do so, select the Publication Date drop-down menu and insert your desired date range. Viewing search result items. To view one of the items listed in your search results, select the title of the item. An information screen for that item will appear in the same window. This information screen will provide you with the details about the item as well as how to access the full text online. Under item availability, you'll be presented with several options for the full text or only one. You can select any of these options to access the full text. If you haven't already signed in, you'll be prompted to do so here in order to access the full text. Saving search results. There are additional features available to support you with your research goals. Please note that in order to use all of these features, sign in using your Humber username. One convenient feature is the ability to save items that you come across during your search to your favorites list. Simply select the Add Item to Favorites button visually indicated by a push pin icon located in the top right corner of each search item. Another powerful feature is the ability to save your search keywords for later use. To do so, select the Save Query button located at the top of your results. You can access your saved items and saved search keywords by selecting the My Favorites pin icon located in the top right corner of the window. Your saved items will be found under the Saved Records tab and your saved searches under the Saved Searches tab. You can email your saved items to yourself and refer back to them later. To do this, select the items you wish to email to yourself. Next, select the three horizontal dots to access your Push To Actions and then select the Email button. From here, simply enter your email address and select the Send button. Citing search result items. Another resourceful tool is the citation feature, which will automatically generate a citation in the format of your choice. You can use this feature by navigating to the item you'd like to create a citation for and selecting the citation button, usually represented by a quotation icon. You can then select your preferred citation format, such as APA 7th edition. 
From here, simply copy and paste your citation into your preferred word processing software, such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs. This concludes the introductory video on getting started with library search. If you have any questions, visit library.humber.ca to connect with a library team member.